The defensive alignment, Jarrett Irons, is one of the premier linebackers in the country for the Michigan Wolverines. David Boyd's a very good defensive end. The name of the day, Sam Sword. <laughs> You got steel and irons and sword. I'm looking for the shield. <laughs> Charles Woodson is uh, was the freshman of the year at that defensive back, the cornerback position last year for Michigan. Very good. Only a sophomore. First down for the Illini. They're moving the ball. Weaver back, throws quickly, has a target. Tight end, Matt Cushing, junior out of Chicago. He makes a catch worth about four or five yards. Holcomb is out. Douthard now is the single back as they go three wide. And Weaver straight back. Pressure down. He goes. Jared Irons came blowing home. And got him. But Irons is going to come right up the middle. Illinois had been moving the ball. Nice run. A mix of run and pass. Weaver had been looking good. But Irons says that's enough of this. Let's get the blitz going. Both linebackers sort. Sword comes on the outside. Irons comes right up the middle. Number 37. Nobody blocks him. Nobody touches him. Man, I'm sure Weaver's, Weaver's saying, hey, this is shades of last year. Come on, guys. That's right. Uh, I want to go home. Third down and 14. This is Doctor. Here's another very good football player. And he runs it back to near the 42-yard line. So they'll need about three as they come up. It's fourth down. Be fourth down here inside uh, inside Michigan's half of the field. Fourth and three, though they're going to kick. Yeah, I, that's a little bit of conservative call, but I agree with Lou. You know, when you're on the road, it's uh, third and 15. Don't get a turnover. Just play defense. That's your strength. Defense, Keith. All right, Chris Floyd now lines up with Clarence Williams and drives Bach back to throw the ball. Drills it. Pass is complete for a first down up around the 27-yard line. And making the catch is High Street's number 86. Floyd, the single back, drives Bach passing. It's a little opening and takes off. And he's got a first down. He's got the speed. It's touchdown, Michigan. Seventy-two yard touchdown run from an unlikely source. The quarterback on a scramble and high streets through the last block to clear the way. Quarterback that can run is a big big plus for your offense watches the center of the line is going to open up 46 is Stallings the leading tackler on this team he's got the best shot right there Dreisbach will break three tackles there's one right there it's a quarterback number two and the third one right there just poor tackling by Illinois and a nice job of running by Dreisbach yeah Toriano Woods tried to get an arm tackle and he just couldn't handle it the longest Michigan run last year was 60 yards by Bianca Batuka. First down up at the 46-yard line. Dowler almost dropped the handoff and takes a licking from Wolverines as he is dropped inside the 42. There's big old William Carr. Six-footer, 287-pound senior from Carter High School in Dallas, Texas. That's Dothard Carey. And he's inside the 40. Broke a couple of tackles. Second down and six now. It's Dothard. Two yards. So it'll be third and four for the Illini. Weaver, pressure, gets it away. He's got a man, but he's hit just as he delivered the ball, and the ball goes over the head of Marcus Mosley. I mean, the pressure came. 37 irons and number 90 for Michigan came pounding in. Joaquin Fizel. He could, if he changed their, their positions, he could advance them in salary and in uh, stature, and he wanted to keep them both. And they're doing a good job. All is fumbled into the end zone and covered by the Wolverines. 
but it's two points for Illinois. Reisbach covered the loose football after Williams lost control of it. He's tackled in the end zone, and it's two for the Illini. I think it was uh, Brown that caused the fumble, too, as you see. Kosh going down to congratulate his troops. He's taking the place and plays the same position as Simeon Rice did last year. Paul Peristeris in now to punt the ball from the 20 after the safety. And it's Marcus Mosley and Ryan Moore deep for Illinois. And it is Mosley. Pops outside. Got some daylight. Almost had a lot of daylight. He goes all the way down to the Michigan 35-yard line. And old Mo right now looks like he might be wearing a white shirt. Over Stacy and moved her in. And it's something special. Second down and 10. This is Holcomb. He's got some room. And a penalty flag is thrown as Holcomb fights his way down to about the four-yard line. That's a nice throw by Scott Weaver. Where's the flag? Just a little touch. Touch. May come back. Yep. So the Illini make a mistake. It's a killer when somebody makes a mistake. Just short of the 36-yard line, second down and 21. Has a little bit of draw action with Dowder carrying the ball up the middle, and he runs it back inside the 25 to the 23. Dowder is the single back right now. He has the ball, turns it back into traffic, and the Wolverines take him down at the 20. Brett Schuklein, 10 out of 19 with a long of 51 a year ago. The junior from Cold Springs, Florida. This is a 38-yard try out of the hold of Scott Weaver. It's good. Four forty-eight remaining in the first half. And we're waiting for the next relief pitcher. Our score is <laughs> seven to five. Let's spend a moment with John Saunders in New York. Mike McGee, number 85, replaces him at that defensive end position. Second down, nine. Bryce Buck gives the ball to Williams, and he hands the ball away to Woodson. And Woodson, who's a burner, foot race down the sideline. And they finally get him out of bounds. They got him out at the seven-yard line. James Williams saved the touchdown. Woodson, the cornerback, slipped into the offensive lineup and made the big play on a reverse. 57 yards. Woodson, as you know, is a, is a corner defensive back. Here he is out here. He's going to come back around on the reverse. He's only in there for certain plays. In the spring, he worked some as a wide receiver. But stop it right here. Look at, look at the hole that he's got to run through. Right in here, the block is made on the outside. Little speed on the, uh, on the player, and good field position for Michigan. First and goal from the seven-yard line. William to the five. Woodson's not a gimme. He's 197 pounds. He can whack you with some authority. Second down and goal from the five. Dreisbach stands up and throws into the corner. And it is incomplete. The pass was intended for Woodson. But the, the defender, James Williams, did not yield. Woodson ran into him, and uh, there's no flag. There's no flag. I thought we'd see them somewhere in this neighborhood. I guess it's got to be inside the five, huh? There it is. Clarence Williams takes it into the end zone. And a penalty flag is thrown by the referee behind the play. There was movement. That'll come back. Yeah, I think Michigan was moving, Keith. Prior to the snap, ball start, offense. Five-yard penalty. It's still third down. The center snaps the ball. Yeah, well, maybe the center moved his body. Maybe that was it. All right, on third down, Reisbach getting some heat, throws it, incomplete, intended for Ty Streets. Remy Hamilton. 
is on the field now. It'll be a 27-yard field goal try. He had one blocked earlier today. This will put him over 200 points in his career. It's good. And it goes to a 10-5 ball game. And it's first down from the 35. Weaver rolls out, pressure down, intended for Ulix, and the ball is behind him. This is Dothert. Well, there's a lot of Wolverines out there waiting for him. Number 93, Sam Sword was the first one. The sophomore from Saginaw. Just starting the third quarter of play. And Weaver is sacked. The ball comes out. He's going to be down. No fumble. He's down at the 27. The referee, Steve Payman, right there. Third down now and nine. They almost knocked him up in the seats. Dennis Stalling is uh, pursuing flag on the play, and it'll be a late hit. Well, yeah, that's what defensive ball. guys want to do. They want to yeah. hit, especially right. quarterbacks. <laughs> ball comes to the 38-yard line, and this is Williams exploding over the left side, down inside the 30, and I think somebody said to Clarence, rev it up, lad, rev it up. Nice block is 5 out of 13 for 55 yards. This is Williams again, slipping and sliding. Chris Howard not eligible to play today because he hasn't completed some work from the summer school session. Williams. First down. Williams is 5'9", stocky fellow, 196. Shaw goes in motion. Dreisbach hands the ball away. Obviously, it was a good conversation for the Illinois defense because number 26 comes blowing in. That's Marshall, too. And Keith. Marshall, number yeah. 93. That's a good one. 36 yard field goal try for Remy Hamilton. He has hit from 27. He missed on a block from 29. That's blocked also and picked up by the Illinois man who blocked it, Ryan Murphy. So the Illini come below it in and just smother the kick. Special teams. Yep, special teams again. This is a 20-yarder. Weaver holds. He hammered it through. And so at 3.46 to go in the third quarter, it is now Michigan 10 and Illinois 8. So they're still hanging around. Michigan is happy. Clarence Williams lines up in the single back with Shaw in motion. Williams. Number 93, Paul Marshall made the first contact for the Illini. Mayhem that's going on down there underneath everybody. This is Williams again. Oh, top down. And only number three kept him from going a long way. Mariano Woods, the senior out of Chicago. <laughs> Dreisbach back throws down the middle. Pass complete to the tight end, Mark Kimball. And Campbell is at the 20. He's two yards short of the first down. Campbell goes in motion. Bryce Bach throwing underneath. Jeremy Tooman had a double tied in alignment with Campbell breaking off into an H-back movement. And Tooman, sophomore from Liberal, Kansas, makes the catch for the first down. That's Butterfield skittering across the field in motion. This is Williams running in traffic inside the 10 by just the pad. Rise block back. Has a man. Touchdown. Russell Shaw.
So the motion comes over here and it's going to go straight out. But Shaw's just going to go down and hook in the end zone. Motion comes out, pulls the linebacker out with him. Shaw does a nice job. The ball only has to break the plane of the goal line. You don't have to come down with your feet, but I think you do. Hamilton with a kick after good. And that is Russell Shaw's first Division 1A catch. And he's the first junior college recruit here at Michigan since 1986. Ten years, yeah. He's going to throw. The ball is tipped and falls incomplete. Ball tipped by Jarrett Irons. Weaver again. Throws and it's deflected away by Joaquin Fizel, number 90, the sophomore from Fort Valley, Georgia. Get your hands up. He's 6'4, 268. It's third and ten. That's thrown behind Jason Bulick. And it's fourth and ten. This is the tight end, Campbell. And he's got a first down for the Wolverines. And it looks like now that maybe. The Illinois defenders have grown a little weary. Yeah, and that's a nice call, too. Fred Jackson on the sideline calling the plays. And the Michigan offense looks pretty fresh. Dreisbach throws, man open. That's a tight end. Truman, and it's a big play. Truman is all the way down to the 25-yard line. First down, Michigan. It's a good call by uh, Freddie Jackson, the offensive coordinator. And... He's going to make a big improvement in the passing uh, game with the uh, Wolverines. This is Williams trying to get back against the flow and gets inside the 20. Take your head off some weekend. Here goes Williams. And that's another first down. So Michigan grinding it out now against the tired Illinois defense, leading 17 to 8. Floyd. Single back, Butterfield in motion, Dreisbach gives to Floyd, and he's just hammering now. He's close to a first down. The 20-yard try. Greasy holds and Hamilton kicks. And he got it. So it's now a 20 to 8 lead, Michigan over Illinois. Against USC. Here goes Weaver back, throws incomplete. Well, I'll tell you what, Bowens just leveled him. David Bowens was coming, and Scott Weaver simply. He just got a scholarship this spring. He did. Here comes Bowens again. He just beat Machado there. It's his third sack of the afternoon. <laughs> uh -huh. A little quick pop to Dulick. Dulick trying to find the sticks and can't do it. But he'll get about uh, fourth down, however. He'll come up about two yards short of the first down. And the Michigan defense has stopped Illinois. And for all intents and purposes, slammed the door on any threat the Illini might have manifested. Clock is running at 40 seconds now. Illinois with no times out to uh, stop the clock. Michigan just taking the snaps. Dreisbach putting a knee down, and the clock will roll along. And in this affair, these teams will not play now next year. So this breaks a 73 consecutive game string. Weaver did all he could, but it just simply wasn't quite enough. As the University of Michigan Wolverines will put W on the board to start the season with a win over Illinois by a score of 20 to 8. Keith Jackson, Bob Greasy, and Lynn Swan. I hope you enjoyed it. And so it is a good night from Ann Arbor, Michigan. We hope you enjoyed the opening weekend of college football in the Big Ten.